The great saint and mystic Saint Catherine of Siena was often privileged with visions and deep intimacy with the Lord in her prayer. But during a certain prolonged period of her life, she had several prolonged experiences of trials where she felt herself as though abandoned by God, left in darkness and under severe temptations to all kinds of things. After one of those particularly bad episodes where she was bombarded by every kind of loathsome and filthy thought and temptation, she experienced a renewed closeness to the Lord. So she immediately asked him, Lord, where were you when my heart was so sorely vexed with foul and hateful temptations? And Jesus spoke to her, replying, I was in your heart, strengthening you for the fight by my grace. Without my presence and my grace, you could not have been victorious in this trial. And he let her know how delighted he was that she had battled so hard and remained faithful to him in the midst of the trial. The psalm in today's Mass is probably one of the best known of all the psalms. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. But I want to draw your attention to a couple of lines further down in that psalm. If I should walk in the valley of darkness, no evil would I fear. You are there. When things are going against us, often the predominant feeling we can experience is fear. The trials that come our way, and who among us hasn't been severely tried this past 18 months, all those trials can feel like they are going to overwhelm us at any minute. We can feel that the problems that beset us are like entering a dark tunnel and we can't see any light at the other end of it. So fear sets in. This psalm puts it in terms of a dark valley. And so it can feel at times in our lives and in our spiritual lives that we are walking in a sort of darkness, unsure of where we are putting our feet, and not able to see much beyond the next step or two. But think about it. What is a valley? A valley, by definition, it seems obvious, is a place between the hills. Every valley is surrounded by hills, and maybe even mountains. Now, in darkness, we can't see those hilltops. We have no notion of the vastness of the mountains which might be right next to us, because the valley is in darkness. But it is important to remember this is a valley, a low place, so heights and mountains are all around me, though I cannot see them. The valley might signify a place where you feel God is absent. The Lord couldn't possibly be in this place. This place is too dark. And in God there is only light, there is no darkness in him whatsoever. This valley might signify a place of sin, and God is above and beyond sin. But though God is above and beyond sin, he is not above and beyond the reach of sinners, because God in Christ came to reconcile us sinners with himself, as the second reading today points out to us. God is indeed anti-sin, but he is very pro-sinner. So we may indeed feel that we are in a bad place, a dark place that is tough going. But this psalm invites us to remember that we have a good shepherd who is willing to lay down his life for his sheep. He never takes his eyes from us and never abandons us. And knowing that the valley is surrounded by hills, that our hardships and even our sins are surrounded by his strength and his mercy, should give us cause to speak the words of this psalm. If I should walk in the valley of darkness, no evil would I fear, you are there. Now I don't know what is going on in your life right now. 
Maybe you are weighed down by great hardships, family difficulties, struggles with habits of sin, chained by various addictions, afflicted by some illness or disease. All of that can feel like you have entered a dark valley indeed. Today, the Word of God invites you to keep before your mind some very powerful truths. You are not a sheep without a shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. You need not allow fear to take hold of you, for your shepherd holds you tight. Your shepherd walks always beside you and goes before you to guide you from darkness to light, from battle to victory, from weariness to new strength. If you are in that dark valley in your life right now, then I want to pray this prayer on your behalf. You can join me in the silence of your own heart, because there, in that place, God hears very clearly. Lord Jesus, Good Shepherd, I am weary of this trial. I am feeling alone, abandoned, and in darkness. And the enemy of my soul has sought to exploit that feeling to his advantage, filling my mind with the lie that you have abandoned me, that you do not care for me, and that you do not love me. In your name, Jesus, I reject that lie. In trust and faith, I call out to you, Lord Jesus. In your name, Jesus, I declare the truth, that this darkness is not dark to you, that nothing is impossible to you, that your great love and mercy will come to my aid, that you never abandon me, that your hand is upon me to guide me, that your mighty hand will do all things for me. I declare the truth that you are my shepherd when all is light and peace and exalted, and you are my shepherd still when all is darkness in turmoil and lowly. Jesus, I trust in you, and in your name, Jesus, I declare and cling to this truth that even though it feels right now as though I am indeed walking in the valley of darkness, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, and you are for me, and you are in me, and together we will overcome this present darkness, this present trial. Amen.